What I'm going to start is I'm definitely doing the tell-all book about exes and ego mm. and maturity. Mm. Um, I'm in that age now. A little, little older. Um, I've had some really immature breakups. The, you know, you, you, okay, now y'all leaving me out on a limb. Nah, nah oh, cause I'm still still trying to hear what you're talking about. Y'all leave me out. I, I've had some really immature breakups. Okay. And as of recent, I've had some fairly sophisticated ones too. Mm. Where it's like a pivot. What's the difference between a sophisticated and a... It's a big... No, nah, it's actually not a big difference. Because at any point, the sophisticated one could go, go just like that. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like they are going to end up being like that. They are going to grow into like their own petty, they're, petty version. They're sophisticated until they find out, oh, you got another bitch? Oh, mm-hmm. oh. You know, like it's 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 sophisticated time being. Has, have you ever had like a, a mutual partying of ways? Have you ever had a mutual party? You know what happens, and maybe this ain't for everybody, but what I've noticed is that it's over for somebody and depending on how dope of a manipulator you are, you can force the other one to end it so you don't get to be the asshole. Mm. And I've definitely been that guy okay. where I've, I've been you, checked you, you out. Plant the seed. Been, been checked out and just start doing wild shit so the person goes, you know what, I, I'm out. <laughs> you know. So then that's on their conscience and not mine. Mm. That's some shitty shit to admit. I'm so sorry, but it, it, it's, it's, my, it's the truth. Oh, no, it's out there now. It's out there. It's, it's out, out there. there. That's some, damn, that's fucked up. I shouldn't have said that. It's all good. You plan to see it. It's cool. You're living your truth. I'm living my truth, King. Hey. <laughs> That's terrible. We all adults, right? Nobody's ever. Y'all, nobody in the room has ever done that. What, plan that's to see? I think that's, that's actually the norm. That is the norm, huh? Yeah. That's terrible, though, bro. Don't put nobody through that. Like, for what? Like, like I'm I'm making fun of it now, but in hindsight, that's some, te- that's some really bad shit to do. Money. Why, why else do you think that folks go into, like, a hole in the stratosphere and what they decide to partner up with what you mean i mean like when folks start switching up and it'd be oh when pe- they do the rebrand yeah it'd be like folks that they would have never uh, we gotta we gotta before. talk about the rebrand because like it'd be stuff like that like that's that's some real that's some that's some deeply rooted seated shit that they can't have happen again the reason it's gonna happen again but it's just a matter of like where it's coming from might be a, a, a easier blow huh Huh. Which is some sick shit. Because if you start going into the if you start going out to the world and messing with uh folks that you wouldn't otherwise mess with as out of uh not having the same like have, not having a potential for the same feelings as a person that you just got done with and now that's who you're with for a period of time, that's some sick shit. Cause no. all because all they did was just take what you inserted in them and applied that into D- seeding, now they're the seeding that into the, yeah now they're now they're seeding that in this, into the next person. But do you think my thing is always do you think the other person is aware of what's ha- taking place? Because you can't. How how often are people getting in relationships and and there's no context about the ex? Like, pe- I feel like that's a conversation that comes up. Is like, yo, my ex used to do this, or this is my ex, or if the circle's small enough, you you've had some encounters with the ex, so you like. That nigga was on a completely different type of time. Like, how you end up here? You know what I'm saying? Like, wh- like what happened in between? And you start to get some context, and you either figure out that um, it was, it's an attempt at an upgrade or it's an attempt at comfort. Hmm. At just, like, a sure thing that's not going to go bad that they get to be, be in control of. And that's strange to me. So I, I wonder how that. often the, uh, the, the new nigga no, is aware of, like, oh, you just here for comfort. I think the I think the one that's there for <clears throat> the one that that ends up in the comfort zone um, is more than all right with that, and I believe that if a certain period of time passes while they're in that comfort, that they will start to grow the confidence off of believing that there's an actual dependency there when there isn't. That getting too comfortable shit. It's like don't do that. Cause then it implodes. Like somebody, I've seen some situations where, come on, folks, man. folks didn't, folks didn't got into that comfort zone, and they changed physically mm-hmm. in that comfort zone, to where they couldn't leave that comfort zone if they wanted. If to. they wanted to, 
Nobody like ever the person, t- the person that went into that is not the person that is sitting in that now. <laughs> You're not the same. So you can't even do the pivot that you may have thought you was gonna do it. So before. that's another conversation about maturity and realization, though. It's like how the nerve the nerve of us to enter into something and and try to change someone. Like who the, who the fuck do we think we are? That's not. This is exactly who this person was in the beginning, and now. Cause you 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 think you go manipulate them into being into pivoting? That's crazy. That's a crazy thought to have. But mm-hmm. it's it's so it's it's a it's a normal sort of unspoken agreement that people enter into. It's like yo, I can, yo, such and such has their quirks, but I can change them. No, you can't. Hmm. This person is exactly who they showed you to be. Once you get past all the weird like outer layer, like visual shit where it's like the aesthetics where you're like oh this part who they are on social who they are in public nigga travel travel move shit with the rest is gonna arise and and then tell me if you like that person for real like if you fuck with that person shit quarantine <laughs> quarantine <laughs> <laughs> it's like a push call <laughs> See, sure. then, then tell me that you in love with this person. And then, okay, this is my last thing about relationships, and I'm off it. No, I, I got more. Go, keep going. Okay. Um, Patrice O'Neill has a bit about like versus love. Mm-hmm. Women hate that skit. But if anyone decided to listen, it would be the, it would be the cheat code for women to unlock men. The love, nigga, I love, there's people that I love that I genuinely don't fuck with. So the love shit really don't mean nothing the way liking you mean something. Mm-hmm. Like, I like, nigga, it's certain people I like to be around. Like, we y'all make shit better. Be that person. Don't be the person I love and can't stand. Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't want that. It's like, that's stupid. Why I won't love. Da, da, da. No, you, no, not for me. <laughs> you do, you do not. Bruh, love, love does not ensure anything with me. Cause because of the whole because of the whole family concept. No, that's real. Also, don't voice ultimatum. I would say just set what your ultimatum is. Don't <laughs> Internally, vo- don't bro, say don't it. Voice that don't motherfucker. Because you know I mean? on like, sheer principle, now I gotta go fuck your ultimatum. Bro, exactly. oh, just I'm naturally, bro. Every time, bro. Naturally, man. <laughs> like, bro, just set, just set what your what th- what your threshold is that you won't allow somebody to cross. And that just be what it is for yourself. That's it. Don't be talking about that. Don't don't say that out loud, bro. Why would you? Why you do that, bro? Why you give me ultimatum? Bro, niggas are all about challenges, bro. Like you said, I can't do what. <laughs> let me let me show Bet you. I'll do this shit in ten seconds, <laughs> bro. Like, man, I, as a matter of fact, <laughs> don't wait up. <laughs> and motherfucker be like, what? On sheer principle, <laughs> bro. What are you talking about? On sheer. So where are you gonna principle. lay your head at? How you gonna? What you mean? Like, I've been living out of a backpack for the end. I, I used to live out of a backpack back in the day. Yeah. You, you just nothing. There's, you can't break me, bro. You can't. Bro, I'm, I'm a different type of sick. Like, bro, don't. I just, I just need draws. What you mean? Hey. If I switch my draws, bro, I can live. I can live out here for about a good few weeks. Hey. Hey. I'm a different level of savage. Shit. <laughs> nah, bro. I would never. I, I can't even out on, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, people. I can't relax. Even, I can't, I can't, relax. We were, we're doing ne- a I would never so. forget with my nigga, uh, not you, but uh, I'm not going to announce who it is. But I, I won't even, I, bro. I would never forget when, when one of my niggas uh, came by my crib after having a spat with his girl, and my nigga had he had a bag, like he had a duffel, and his duffel had. He put he put out the duffel because he was going out that night, bro. Why did his duffel have so many essentials? <laughs> like this man had the had the cologne, the uh, the the the, uh, the soap, the uh, the um the, the 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 hair the hair stuff is um like er, like everything you would possibly need. To fuck Changes around. of clothes, shoes, for for going in a club or going in a bar. Bro, like had the hard bottoms or the sneakers, bro, just, in, just in case. Pick, pick and choose, my nigga. Like, bro, just all the essentials that you would need. I'm like, bro, do you plan on going back, my nigga? Like, this ain't like this ain't no safe haven for you, bro. You going back? It's like I'll figure it out, bro. That's all. That's all cash deep, bro. Just put it, put everything in a duffel, and go. 